All these images are generated by a brand new open source model called Z images. And the crazy part, it's only six billion parameters model, but the results look insanely clean, detail and photorealistic. Today, I'm gonna to show you what kind Z images can really do, how fast it is, and why so many creators and everyone are losing the mind over this Z model, impressive, lightweight image model. So let's jump right in. All right, so as you can see, we're currently on the GitHub page for Z images. This is where you'll find pretty much everything you need to know about the project, all conveniently located right here. Currently, the repository features the Z Turbo model. The edit model is still in the works and slated for release in the near future. So keep an eye out for updates. You can also check out the model's checkpoint, which is hosted on the Hugging Face website, allowing for easy access and integration. But for now, let's head back to the GitHub page to explore some of the features and capabilities of Z Images. Right on the main page, the developers have included a few examples showcasing just how incredibly realistic the images generated by the model can be. Okay, the model is also capable of understanding and responding to text prompts, enabling users to guide the image generation process with natural language instructions. Everything you need to explore these capabilities is right here on the GitHub page. They've also included a leaderboard that highlights the performance of Z images compared to other image generation models. Z Images is currently holding the fourth position, which is quite impressive. Notably, it's outperforming Quen Image, a significantly larger model, which is ranked sixth, Flux One. Context is further down the list. This is particularly noteworthy considering that Z Images is demonstrating superior performance to models like Quen Image and the original Flux model. And speaking of Flux, as you might know, Flux 2 has recently been released. However, this new model boasts a staggering 32 billion parameters, while this increased size may offer some performance benefits. It also presents challenges in terms of computational resources. The sheer size of Flux 2 might make it difficult to run on many personal computers, and even the GGUF version may still be too demanding for some systems. This is where Z Images will shine. So, so now let's navigate over to the Hugging Face website, where you can download the necessary files to get started with Z Images. Fortunately, the official Comfy UI community has already created a few pre-configured files, streamlining the setup process. Let's go to the split file section, where you'll find the diffusion models, text encoder, and VAE components, all conveniently packaged for easy use. The Quinn 3.4 billion parameter model is also compatible and readily available. The primary difference lies in the main model itself, which weighs in at 12 gigabytes and is provided as a BF16 safe tensor file. As you can see, the file size is relatively small. Here you can see the new workflow I've made for this model. But before we dive into that, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel or liked this video, please take a moment to do so. Your support helps me create more content like this. Now, let's continue with the video and explore the workflow in more detail. For instance, here's a simple example. Portrait shot of a woman sitting in a cafe. That's all I wrote as the prompt. I'm using a full HD resolution of 1920 by 1080 pixels for the height and width and I'm using only nine or 10 steps in the sampling process. The sampler used here is Euler Simple. And the resulting image, as you can see, looks incredibly realistic and detailed. I'm not gonna lie. And it took around just one minute, under a minute, and we're using Seed VR2 for scaling. Okay, so I think I'm just testing out Seed VR2. I think it's pretty, pretty insane. Okay, for it might be better than Ultimate HD Upscaler. So as you can see, this is the image, and I even compared it so you can see the difference between the normal photo and the upscaled version. Let me just zoom in and show you guys. So this is the normal photo, and let me just zoom in a little bit more. And this is the, so you guys might not understand the difference because of the video, but in real, it looks pretty insane. And let me just save this with file photo. So now let's try a few more things. 
So as you can see, it just did everything, even the upscaler in just 47 seconds. So, and I'm using the RTX 4090 inches this with 24 gigabytes of VRAM, and we're gonna use this prompt. A beautiful American woman sitting in a park bench. Okay, we now we used eight steps in this Euler and Simple. So this is the image that we got, and I've removed the Tosh compiler args because that was giving me some trouble. See over here, let me just zoom in. So let me just zoom in a little bit more so you can just see the full face. So over here, it has enhanced a lot, but you, might, you guys might not have seen. So as you can see, even the water droplets or the sweat is looking pretty, pretty good. Okay, so now let's try a few more things. But before that, let me just save this again. Okay, now let's go to the prompt. So this was the prompt, now it's the same prompt. So I'll just change the sampler to res two seconds and bong, sorry, beta 57, and this looks a bit better. I'm not gonna lie, this scheduler looks way better. So this is the normal, this is the upscaled one. So this one looks better than Euler and simple. I would recommend you guys to use this. Okay, now let me just save it again. So this model, I think it's pretty good. I cannot tell you guys that it's better than Quen right now because I had just few hours testing it. I will test more and give you guys my results or anything, but it's a very lightweight model and it's taking, it's super fast. It's very, very fast. Okay, now let's try a few more examples. So I'm using Bong Tangent as a scheduler and this is the image that we're getting. I think Bong Tangent. And I will also increase the scale from 0.5 to 0.7 to get a bit more clearer and edgy looking photos. So as you can see the face it has, so 0.7 helps a lot with clarity. So you can even see the nose on her hand. So that's pretty good. Okay. So I'm trying to see if it can make different, different kind of women. Like first was American, then Chinese or Asian. Now let's try Indian woman. So we're using the same 10 steps. I'm shifting between eight and 10 right now to see which is better. I think 10 is a bit better and I'm using the same scheduler and everything. So this is the girl that we got and looks pretty realistic. I'm not gonna lie.